What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through a few questions involving similar triangles. So let's get started. For question one, we have triangle CHR, and we have a bunch of information given here, but the first really important piece of information is that angle H is congruent to angle RDO. So we'll just mark it off here so we could see that these two angles are the same. And we're told next that RD is four units long, and we have RO is six units long, and OH is four units long. And what we want to find here is the length of CD. So we're just going to call this X. So what we can notice here is that in this triangle, well, the big triangle has angle R and this little triangle has angle R. So this big triangle here and this little triangle are going to be similar because they have two pairs of congruent angles. Now, when it comes time to actually setting up a proportion, it helps to draw the triangle separately here. So I'm going to draw the big triangle here, triangle CHR. And remember, at angle H, we have one tick mark, and at angle R, we have two tick marks. And then I'm going to draw a triangle RDO. So just imagine that I flip this, and then I rotate it a little bit so that it looks like this. And one thing to be very mindful of is that at vertex R, we have two tick marks, and at vertex D, we have one tick mark. So if I want these triangles to be facing this, the same direction, I need to situate triangle RDO this way so that we could see how these two line up. So now we just label everything. We'll do the little triangle first. So RD was four units long and RO was six units long. And then in the big triangle, HR is four plus six, which is going to be 10 units long. And then CR, if I go X and then I go four units, that's going to be X plus four in total. So now when it comes time to actually setting up a proportion, it's going to be much easier when the triangles are facing the same way. So I could use this side here on the right, x plus 4, over the bottom side, which is 10 units long, and set that equal to 6 over 4. So notice I'm comparing the side on the right to the bottom side. So in the second triangle, I'm going to compare the side on the right to the bottom side. So this proportion is good. So now we cross multiply, and we're going to distribute the 4. So this is going to give us 4x plus 16 after we do 4 times x plus 4. And this is going to be equal to 6 times 10 which is 60. So now we'll just subtract 16 on both sides and we're going to have 4x equals, and this is going to work out to 44. So divide by 4 on both sides and this tells us that x is equal to 11. And remember the goal here is to find the length of CD and we define CD to be equal to x. So the length of CD is just 11 units. So this is our answer to the first question. So now for the second question here, we have two triangles and we don't actually get to see the triangles. So the first thing I'm going to do is just draw them out. And it doesn't matter how you draw them. They don't have to be drawn to scale. But what does matter is that if I label the first triangle B O Y like this, notice I went in a clockwise fashion. Then in the next triangle here, what I have to do is start at G up here and go clockwise so that the letters are corresponding. So B and G correspond. O and R correspond, and Y and L are in corresponding places. So now we'll just label everything. We have BO is X plus 3, and GR is 3X minus 1. But then the next thing, or a very important thing that we're told here, is that the ratio of similarity of the two triangles is 1 to 2. And notice that they're saying the ratio of the first triangle to the second triangle is 1 to 2. So that means that this triangle here, this one is the bigger triangle. It's twice, the side lengths are twice as big as the side lengths over here. So what that means is, is that if I set up a ratio x plus 3 over 3x minus 1, well, this triangle is the bigger triangle. So the 3x minus 1 is corresponding to the side that's twice as long as the other. So when I set up my ratio 1 over 2, just know this is the big side and 3x minus 1 is coming from the big triangle. Okay, so that way we're just clear why this ratio that we're setting up on both sides actually matches. So here what we could do is cross multiply and we're going to have 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 1 times 3x minus 1. And if we work out the algebra over here, we have 2x plus 6 equals 3x minus 1. So now just subtract 2x on both sides and all in one step we could also just add 1 to both sides. So now we have 7 is equal to 3 minus 2, which is 1, and then we have our x here. So x is equal to 7, but we have to be very careful. 
Don't be so proud of yourself you solve for X that you just go ahead and circle choice two. Just be careful. The goal here is to find the length of segment GR. So the length of GR, remember, if we're trying to find the measure of GR, we can just write GR with no segment up here and say equals. And that's going to be equal to 3 times X minus 1, but X was equal to 7. So this is going to work out to 21 minus 1. So segment GR is 20 units long. This is actually going to be choice 4. So for this last question here, we're talking about a TV and we're looking at the aspect ratio, which is the ratio of the width to the height. And the aspect ratio is 16 to 9. So if we just draw out some rectangle here to model the TV, remember the ratio of the width to the height is 16 to 9. And the length of the diagonal refers to the actual size of a TV. So this refers to the size of the TV. And what we want to do is determine in state to the nearest inch the screen size, the diagonal. So we're just going to call that X for now. When the height of the TV is 20.6 inches. So what we want to do is, let's say I call this Y for now. Well, Y over 20.6, and I'll write the units at the end, is going to be equal to 16 over 9. So once again, Y is the longer side because it's the width. And the ratio of the width to the height is 16 over 9. So first we have to solve for y, and then to solve for x, we're going to use the fact that when you have a rectangular shape here, that the diagonal creates two right triangles. So once we know the value of y, we could use Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse, which is modeled by x. So now we have 9 times y equals, and we have 16 times 20.6. So this is where we'll use the calculator. We have 16 times 20.6. And this works out to 329.6. So let's just go ahead and write this in here. So we have 329.6. And then we'll just divide both sides by 9. And let's see here what we get. So we have divide by 9. And that's 36.62. And the 2 is repeating. So y is equal to 36.62 repeating. And remember, the units here is going to be inches. So if I want to just write this in, Technically, what we have here is this is 36.62, and this repeats, and this is inches. All right, when we find the actual diagonal, we're going to round to the nearest inch at the end. But for now, we'll use the decimal value. Remember, when you're rounding at the end, you shouldn't round throughout the question. You should just round at the very end of the question. So now that we actually have the length of the two sides of this right triangle, to find the hypotenuse here, what we could do is we could just write this, we have 36.62, this is repeating, squared plus 20.6 squared, and this is equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared. And now, all we're going to type in the calculator, if we want to solve for x, x is going to be equal to the square root of this expression here. So what we have is we could take the square root of, and the answer before, I'm just going to write like this, second answer squared, and then we have plus 20.6, and this quantity squared. So whatever this simplifies to, we're going to round to the nearest whole number, and to the nearest whole number, this is going to be 42. So if we round here, x is roughly, and we're rounding to the nearest whole number, 42 inches. So when they want to know, determine and state to the nearest inch the screen size, we'll, we could just say here, the screen size here, is 42 inches. And we'll circle this as our answer. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on similar triangles. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.